We are delighted to have you, the real pool fans, joining us for my semifinal action. My name is Mark Wilson, and our expert analysis is provided by world-class player John Schmidt. Thank you, Mark. The players are getting dialed in for a couple days, and I couldn't be more stoked for this match, John. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. If you like pool, you like one pocket. You've got two guys here that I consider world champions, uh, especially at one pocket. They've played more one pocket than anybody could realistically play in their life. And uh, there isn't a shot that they don't know, and it just should be a great match. These are guys that have not just played more one pocket, but they play more pressure, oh, high yeah, stakes. High, right. Pocket. High yeah. stakes around the world. They've played each other a million times. They are friends, but I promise you they want to assassinate each other oh, in this yeah. match. This Let's is a big match for big money. Here we go. Shohan's won the lag. That's huge. The most relaxed guy I've ever seen play <laughs> pool, Tony Shohan. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and that serves you well when you're under big pressure. Now, Tony uh, getting the first break is a, is a distinct advantage, and uh, Josh will do quite well to win this game on Tony's break, and Tony laid down a nice break here. Got the cue ball right along the side cushion mm -hmm. and up table there between the second and third diamond. That's ideal, yes. and the corner ball didn't leak out. Yeah, Josh is uh, quite limited. I mean, I think he could maybe drive down through the nine, put the cue ball on the back rail. But yeah. whatever he does leads to trouble. Tony's going to freeze you right back up against the pile off the pink or go upstream. Uh, Josh is not going to like his next shot. Well, he can safely play the six back if there's nothing Yeah, dead. that's and, right. And maybe enable something else. Yeah, the seven's wired off the three. It would go in off the three. I like this. Nothing wrong with this. Protect that break. Get it perfect. We are using a 60-second shot clock, but these guys do not ponder long. No, so. I like that about their games. They're quick. I like going right back up against the stack here. It got away from him a smidge, but that's a good shot. Tony's going to fight hard to keep the three and seven on his side. Well, he's yeah, he move might them. break them up here a little bit. And get on the, oh, he was trying to get on the other side of the stack. Now Josh might get out of the trap here. Little, uh, little uh, opportunity here. Mm -hmm. You've got a chance to make this three with the seven, and the seven will carry for position, uh, but you can also sell out a bank. So there's a little danger here. John's talking about the combination mm -hmm. bank, seven on the three. Yep, a lot can go right and a lot can go wrong here. See what happens. Nice yeah, shot, good. sure did. These two are a total gentlemen to play, respectful to their opponent. Um, they're very respected in the sport and well-liked, and I'm a fan of both of them. They... Um, they both play incredible one pocket, and I'm kind of hoping we get to see a couple games stretch out where you get to see some of their experience and knowledge. Um, right. Yeah, we don't want a fast break game to, yeah. to get the full enjoyment of yeah, the Yeah, I'd like the fans at home to really get to see um, what these guys are capable of moving-wise because they're both brilliant players. I kind of like coming off the three here, two rails, right into the 10-13. Hmm, nice hit. Yep, something like that. Boy, powerful. Mm -hmm. Now, Josh, I Josh, even though this is a little more touchy, you go three rails here up against the seven if you can, but I think the three kind of, yeah, I don't think you can do that safely. He might take a two-rail kick behind the three here, just like this. Oh, don't scratch. Yeah, you can't do that. He sewered. Mm, he sewered, as my wife would say. He sure did. <laughs> uh, he sure did. John calls it taking the subway. <laughs> okay, take the Felicity, subway. He, yep. he sewered. <laughs> <laughs> She's at home watching. She likes one pocket, and uh, I miss her. I've been on the road a week. I miss you, honey. Love you. Hope you're doing good. And uh, now Tony's, Tony's got the first chance to strike here. He's got to make this now. Now, do you like, do you like getting on that six like a straight pull? break shot and blasting it or do you like getting over for the three 
I kind of like it. It looks like he went the to the three. three. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think that's better. And then he's going to go to the six. Now, you want to make sure the seven's not dead right now. I looked. It looks like you can it, throw it in, but okay. you can't do it from way that yeah. the uh, 12 ball on top of it with the eight. It won't allow it. I don't yeah. believe. So it'd have to be really dead for him to go mm-hmm. for that. Now, there is an opportunity here, but he can't get the 15. There is a way. No, there isn't because the eight's in the wrong place. So that won't throw. Right. The eight was a few inches over. Now it's a go. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he plays this because you hate to shoot the six and drive all the balls to the wrong pocket, but sometimes you have to do it. But I've lost a lot of games shooting this shot, opening up the balls. They all rush over to Josh's side, and you're trapped. He did not get much angle, so he's no. going to have to power up if he wants to do that and draw back. Yeah. See, that? that's... That's exactly what happens sometimes, and there's not not much you can do. Hmm. Yeah, this is ponderous I, now. I'll tell you what I'd consider here. I'd consider chipping off the side of this 12 and going all the way up to the top left corner, daring Josh to shoot the 12, which only gets you one. You know, you wouldn't mm -hmm. shoot the 12. Um, you know... Yeah, this is yeah. fine, too. Cover the seven. He's protecting the seven. The, your shot, I don't think, plays great because he can bank the seven. If he yeah. gets forward on the, off the 12, yeah, he you're makes right. He that. can double bank it. He, they, I right. like Tony's shot better. You're right. Yeah, my shot could have led to trouble. and um, He locked it down. He didn't yeah. compound. He made one mistake, but he didn't make right. two. And, and these great players, what they do is once they build a position and they get balls by their hole, they do anything they can to protect it. They, he, Tony does not want Josh to be able to move the seven, even if he has to take a foul. And that's something I had to lose a lot of money to, to understand yeah. the nuance there and how important it is and when to do it. Yeah, neither of these players are going to miss that. No, trick. no, they're not going to do anything stupid. They might mis-execute because they're human, but they won't mis-decide. Yeah. yeah, there won't be many tactical mm -hmm. poor judgments here. Mm -mm. Tony's going for the four with high left English, run the cue ball into the 12. He's got a chance to uh, make something happen here. Catching the 12 is key. Uh, Well, yeah. He didn't catch it full no, enough. No, didn't catch it full enough. Now Josh needs to make the 12, come down a little bit, bank the seven into the stack and put the cue ball behind the four. But first he has to make a nice shot here. And an experienced player like him, he's going to make sure nothing's wired out of the pile. And uh, and he has to focus and make a nice shot on this 12. This isn't an easy shot on this table. Four and a quarter inch pockets, a little bit of chalk on the table. It's playing tough. Nice shot. Wow, he decided. To, okay, I, that's different. I think he's going to play the 13 and the 5. I like it. Drift the key yeah, ball. Nothing. I like it. Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that at now all. Now you just tag it into the... Oh, well, that that's kind of un out. unbelievable oh. what happened there. I oh, didn't wow. see that coming. At all. He must have caught it Full. fuller. Yeah. yeah, he drove it. Okay. Yeah, you know, he like was, I said, you're going to mis-execute sometimes. He Pulls got the up. cue ball where he wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought the other ball was going to drift forward, and he right. was going to be able to defend that ball with this. Now, Tony's got a chance to shoot kind of an exhibition shot here. He might be able to, to pop this in with bottom left English and have the cue ball go around the table with reverse English. And Oh, yeah, he he might be. Now nah, he's hitting it with outside just to make sure he makes it, gets up table. Okay. Well, yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. He's just making sure you can't remove the 13. Smart, good, good cue ball. You see anything here you like, Marcus? Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> I like the, this is trouble. I like um, the three real kick, yeah, four real kick. Uh, yeah, I, I like your three real kick here. He's going two rails. Yeah, this, oh, this is close. Nice touch. Oh, Josh. good shot. Very good good shot. shot. Yep. Yeah. Now, once again, Tony's mm -hmm. going to do everything he can to protect that ball, mm -hmm. to include taking a foul. Yeah, I think he'll come off the 12 here to the in rail and up near the side pocket on Josh's side of the table to defend that 12. He might even wire the 412 up here to his pocket. 
He might well, take that's a foul. the key. They're going to move it at all. Now, look at here. He's taking a foul exactly like you said. Good call. If he can, get on, the, yep. well, if he can get on the pile here. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, he really inflicts some damage. So, so people listening at home, do you see the value of protecting the balls by your pocket? Once you build a position, don't lose it by trying a shot, missing it, and then your opponent can rip them all away from your pocket. It's like you're building a sandcastle for hours and just some bully comes over and kicks it over. You don't want that. you gotta, <laughs> you got to get everything right and leave it there. That's right. Boy, Jack's going to have to – I mean, he's, yeah. when he kicks at this, totally willing to take a foul unless yes. he's trying to thin the one with inside, but that makes this shot play Man. so much tougher. Oh, my goodness. This is way tough. So – no, well, that was incredible. Call. That was an incredible shot right there. That would have been so easy to overspin and just sell out. So now, well, Josh is fouled, but it's going to go back to zero, right? Right. Both, right. Oh no. Let's see. Josh is negative one. Okay. Right. Well, what's Tony looking at here? He's looking at kicking, I think. No. Two ball I, do anything? He, oh, I see. Yeah, he could bank. Can the two. he bank the two into he the pile? Could. Oh, yeah. That. I don't think into the pile. I think he was off the pile, the, right? Just yeah. right off that side oh. of that twelve. I'm oh. Not sure. Now he's going off the four, two rails up against the eleven, fifteen, which I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. But yeah, he wants to shoot that two so bad. I like this shot myself. Just kind of get a chance to settle down, get into the match. Oh, nice. Under hit it just a touch. Not bad, though. Nope. Not, Not bad at all. Bad. It's like a boa constrictor. He's like, getting a coil around you right yes, now. Yes. He just needs access to one shot. Yeah, Josh is really going to have to come with something tricky here. He's almost reduced to what he's been doing is just that mm -hmm. two cushion lag. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a way I've seen Efren actually shoot this kick. Is he kicks to the top right hand corner with inside English and comes one, two, three, four behind the twelve. You know what I mean? It's it's a crafty little shot. It doesn't come up much. Have you seen him shoot? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have. You've done you've done a ton of commentary on him. Yeah, the balls favor Tony massively. Um, this game is getting away from Josh a little bit. He's going to have to find a way. Uh, to move some balls to his side. Now what? What is he looking at here? Playing the like kind of a, yeah. Wow, that was aggressive. Okay, this is Josh's first chance to realistically make something happen. Now, do you like hitting this twelve with a high right cue ball and the twelve seven leave town and the cue ball kind of just, as Danny DeLiberto says, high karate's right there. Yeah. I don't think that's bad. You might even carry the four out of there. But when you do that, if you go into the four, you also risk selling out a bank. Oh, you ain't that's, kidding. Yeah, that's the that's bad right. part of that. Yep. Josh removed I, his extension. Yep, I think he's playing it. You got to put some pace on this. He's high English. High left. Nice shot. Oh, he did. He hit it good. Yeah. Yeah, he knows every trick in the book. He's been playing one pocket for 20 years. He's, he's one of the, you know, I don't know, the top premier. five. Yeah, premier. Top five or ten on earth, and uh, he knows every little move there is. Yeah, Tony knows he lost a little ground there. Yes. So now he's just going to go back to the side of the pack. Nothing crazy. They know each other's games real well, too. I mean, <laughs> now, I see some guys shoot the kick here at the seven and try to kick bank the seven of their hole, and it looks great when you hit it right. I think it's a complete sell out to shoot this but i see this shot a lot you got to remove the seven anyway maybe right. take a crack at it. i think it. most guys go with power here right oh, he see soft. i do that i just try to nibble it but i i've seen efren two rail kick right at that ball and knock it to his hole yeah right i mean well uh oh. not just that you can go two rail if it, josh goes a little more power and then he can knock the seven that, down table that's right and takes a lot of the pace out of the cue ball and then it filters back to the end that, rail that's right because it was up pretty high. Yeah, and you're, al you're almost hard luck to sell out there no matter how you hit it, right, yeah. Mark? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why – that way you – because that shot wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. And it was a it was a foul, right? Yeah. Yeah, you hate so, to take a foul. And not get something and not, better. Yeah, you're trying yeah. to defend that, that sandcastle position we're talking about where you're building something. Then you take the fouls to protect it. You really hate to take a foul 
just to survive, you know. Right. But sometimes you do have to do that. Yeah. Boy, boy, Tony should just take a foul back. I, I, think, I think he should so. just, just go to the side of the stack. Just, you know, he didn't, oh, oh, he was able to do that. Wow, okay. he almost was able to make that and get a shot on the four. That would have been something. Yeah, that was an effective yeah, shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got Josh struggling still. Do you like maybe just uh, kicking the two up near up past the seven a little bit? Oh, unless he can come off this five and down below the two, maybe. Man, that is not easy to do. Does get a ball on his side. Oh, that he hit it help. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that will nice. help quite a bit. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Tony... <laughs> Is as good as anybody alive at twisting this two back. I think he's going to try it left English, and he hit it like wow. Tony Chohan. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's just, Well, you had to manufacture the angle. That wasn't a natural right. angle. You have to hit it straight straight on with that spin and then have the object ball twist back. I mean, that right. was just such a cerebral feel touch. That you just can't teach that. He's such a talented player that uh, he just commonly shoots it in. Just not a natural bank. You have to no. shoot it wide and then the right. trust that the spin's going to carry. That's right. And he makes more of those than most. Now, I will tell you this. He needs to be mindful of his shirt on this. <laughs> no, I'm just saying yeah. of this ball down here. That's right. Is that the four ball? No, it's the five ball. Oh, they're playing all ball fouls. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. Well, that's real pool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we got to get away from the other thing yeah so. now if he can cross under this four with high left english and make it he can play the 11 next i don't think he can do that he looks like he's high speed jerking this in pounding it boom okay oh, hit it good yeah tight table they're gonna hang and yeah, tony doesn't miss many banks he's mm -mm. like utter disbelief right now <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm shocked when they go in. He's shocked when they don't. Oh, I mean, he didn't really miss it. <laughs> you know, right he, now, like where it's good. at. He hit it good. And uh, is the nine wired to Tony's pocket? It sure looks close. That is really going to hamper Josh. See, Josh smartly was trying to nudge the nine right there and make it not dead to Tony's hole, because otherwise, Josh just can never put mm -hmm. the cue ball upstream. This will be a pretty shot if he hits it well. Man, he's such an offensive player. Well, I think he can control the cue ball pretty good. He doesn't have to go. Well, no, I mean, what a shot. <laughs> yeah, and he got p position on the 11. That was beautiful control. Does Josh have a bank on the 11 now? That would be his first offensive look. He's down on one knee to see if he can stiffen this up. Yeah, you know how you watch some players when you first meet them, you first see them, you just know they're a special player. I mean, I, I saw that with Tony in the late 90s when I first watched him play, like in 97. Mm -hmm. Josh, I think the first time I ever seen him hit a ball was maybe 03 down in Alabama, and I knew right then he was a killer. He was a monster player with a ton of talent. And uh, it makes perfect sense that they're here in the semifinals in basically a one-pocket world championship. Josh is playing with the Muchi carbon fiber and a Zan tip. Tony with the Southwest uh, full Q and a uh, LaPro tip, which was interesting. I haven't heard that. That was kind of the old school tip. You don't see guys use much anymore. And he's, uh, that kind of fits his style. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. use a LaPro. We're batting 30,000. Like, you right. know. <laughs> Give me a 25 cent yeah. tip. Yeah, exactly. Well, a 4-0 le uh, lead, that's um, pretty substantial at this level. This table, too, is tough. So, you know, running eight and out is uh, real, real tough. A nice little shot. I mean, mm -hmm. Tony's a young guy, but he just he plays with the wisdom of, like, you know, a 75-year-old guy that's seen it all. He really – all the best players in the world when he plays – they make a point of watching his matches because yeah. we all know whether we'll admit it or not, you're going to learn something when you watch him play. 
Mario, he's looking on. Yeah, I see all Josh Joshua Filler. Filler. Yeah, I mean, right. just all the greats want to see what Tony's going to do, what Josh is going to do. Yeah. I know I was excited about it. Yeah, me too. That's not an easy two railer to have. Oh, is sir. It? We're talking about the 15 ball. Looks like Tony's thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Boy, you can miss hit that and look real yeah, bad. Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, it was so difficult he turned it down. That tells you something. Now, you know a shot here that, that well, for one, that nine being wired towards Tony's hole is another reason you might shoot this. But the two-rail kick here at the side of the mm -hmm. 4-11 where they mm -hmm. brush to your side, the mm -hmm. cue ball snuggles up into the 9-3. It moves the nine from being dead like you solve a lot of issues. Now, he can also come off the side of this five and do the same thing. This is fine, too, of course. Just bank one right down to your pocket. And he, I think he blocked Tony from seeing it. But you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That T-rail kick, that's effective yeah. sometimes, isn't it? Josh had to barely miss the pile with that bank, right. so it took a pretty darn good oh. shot to get it down by your pocket. Yeah, they're both playing real nice. And this is turning into a very one-pocket-like game. It's not mm -hmm. just an eight-and-out, one-inning. Um, we're getting to see some real one-pocket here. Not <clears throat> Looking on, Josh does have the bank, but the cue ball goes exactly in the wrong direction right. if he plays it. And so he can lose with the shot, but it's very difficult to win playing the bank. Oh, oh what a crafty. Shot. Crafty. What a shot. What a and he shot. made it, and he made it too. Yeah, out of the stack. A, a carom bank shot. And he fixed that dead ball to Tony's hole. I mean, that and got the cue ball in the right place. Tony's, yeah. Tony's kind of shaking his head like, man. Yeah, How that, do I that, lose a shot from there? That is going to leave a mark. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Up. Oh, 11 he ball. Might got have to bank the five. Yeah, it's not the worst result no. in the world, but this is disappointing that he can't get the 11 right. next, I'm sure. Sometimes just banking this over to your hole, though, and hiding them, it, it almost is as damaging as making the 11. Well, that's. Yeah, he wanted to hold him from seeing that five. Yeah, that's not good enough no, playing Tony no, Shaw. No, sir. But Josh has made a game out of it. Things were getting away from him there for a minute, and he's turned it around, and uh, he's got Tony kind of having to scratch his head and um, try not to, you know, have his his uh, first game having that break taken away from him. That's big. I've always felt it's big. Some people don't seem to bother, but I hate losing on my break. A pretty twist bank here. Oh, yeah. Good cue ball control, great speed. Yeah, really good. T we are informed that uh, Fetter Gorst is ahead 1-0 over Skyler Woodward in the other semifinal. And final. breaking. So, yeah, he just broke serve on Sky. Sky had that first break. That's big. That's big in a race of three. Boy, this is a t this is a tough situation right here to not sell out something. I I, th I kind of like Tony. Oh wow, he's he's coming down behind the orange. Play the one ten to his side and get behind the orange. Nice touch. Nice touch. Tony. Great job. Yeah, nice touch. Now, where he got the cue ball, he was able to you defend know. the eleven and nine. Now, Josh, I think, is going to try to bank this one, but he's got to avoid scratching in the side. He has to elevate, which makes the shot way harder, and he hit it great. I don't think it's going to go. Boy, he hit that good, though. But it got up it high It got enough. up too high enough. Yeah. Tony can do something. Mm -hmm. That seems to always happen to me. The ball gets away up the rail, and then before you know it, you're trapped up behind the 15, and the one's hanging by your pocket or something. You think he's trying to play I, position on the 14, he, too? Yeah, I think he's going to go upstream. Yeah, just Beautiful. like that. Yeah. Beautiful. He hit it great. And that defends the uh -huh. one ball here. That's more powerful than, uh, or as powerful yes. as making it for sure. Now, Josh, I believe, needs to shoot the 14 at the, his right side of the one and draw the cue ball right back to the 15 and hopefully the 14 one jiggle away from Tony's pocket and without opening the 9 11. So, Josh has got a lot going on here. 
I think he's going to study it, but I think he's coming back to your shot. I, yeah, I don't see what else he could do. I like trying to draw the cue ball right to the 15 if possible. Yeah, leave it right there. It'll be a stun draw, so yes. he has power. It won't be an effective draw. Right. Oh. No, oh, he's my not. God. He's, he's cutting the 14. Wow, he's cutting the 14. Well, I'll tell you what. That wasn't too... Well, you know, I could see what he, where he was going with that, and, you know, I commend him for having the guts to shoot it because you can't win major championships just always playing defensive. Right. Well, Tony can make some openings for himself anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. Look at that position play. Too hard. Oh. Too hard. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, he'd like to be able to bank this 14. Well, oh, he, is he kicking he's kicking at, at it. Yeah. He wow. said, Man, I, know I, use, it. I sell out of bank every so, time I shoot this. He hits a perfect. No, he, no he. Well, I think he's okay. But he hit it good, he but did he didn't hit, hit it perfect. And, you know, he was disappointed because he had the 14 bank uh, if he wanted to get position for it, but he tried yes. to get that. Oh, boy. Josh overcooked oh, it. That, I've, I've done that so many times right there where it comes back over. It's so sickening when you do that. Well, now Tony's got the 14 bank after this ball. But, you know, you might look at that as just mis-executing, but it, it's just playing the percentages. Josh shot the shot that he knows from thousands of games of one pocket was the right shot, and sometimes you're just not going to hit him right. But you got to shoot the right shots, you know. Got anything yeah, on the eight I, here? Yeah, I think really, so. Does he? I, yeah, I think yeah. he can shoot it softly, hold the cue ball right behind the three. I mean, um, hmm. yeah, this is good. I don't know if he could. I don't know if the eight would hit the eleven. That would be yeah, nice. That would open nice. up and if you could pin the cue ball to the three. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. And, and nudge the Golly. 12 open, too. Great shot. Yes, sir. Uh, game winning shot, I might add. 1 0 T Rex yep. in front of the beast, yeah. Josh Roberts. Well, it kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, Tony breaking first. So um, I don't know how much value people put in that, but like if I'm Josh, I'm saying, okay, he had the first break. He's supposed to win the game. We're, we're fine. We're on pace. But when you lose that first game on your own break, I just feel like things are really going sideways. Nice catch by Eddie Ladawi. Short yeah. stop for the international. <laughs> <laughs> Very bouncy carpet, yeah, my yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> is, that, is that Simona's carpet? Yeah, really. You know? Yeah. Got a nice crowd out there. You maybe can't see them all on camera, but we got a good crowd here watching this. And, um, very this, knowledgeable yes, crowd, I might add. No. Yes. See where Josh is handed? He just slides that hand back on yes, that last he stroke. Sure He's got it bound up, and then he yep. slips it back there on that last one. You don't see very many no, players use that no, type of don't. delivery. No. Good it looks break. cool. It's definitely smooth looking and effortless looking. Now, if Tony can see, if you come off the six, you can leave a bank on the nine real easy. Um, and I don't even know that he can do that. Yeah, this is tricky. Tony's j just thinking about all the games he's played and all the knowledge he has, and he has to muster up something real smart. There you go. Good shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice put shot. that six ball right on the rail rather than mm -hmm. let it drift up mm -hmm. at all where he can shoot it at the stack if he doesn't have a bank. Now, I think Josh is kicking at this six, and uh, these go in sometimes. Hit it good. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Hmm. Now he might have sold out a cross corner on the six here. Yeah, if anybody can make it, it's Tony. And if he stops there with this, yeah, maybe he has to draw out of the way, though, for the double kiss. No, he was able to stop there. Shot. Oh, boy. This he might guy. be off to the races after this. If this two ball goes over in front of his pocket, depending upon how he lands on it, he needs to land on the seven. Right. He needs to land on the one and the seven side of this, but then I, the two ball just trickles over. That's right, Mark. I think the two is going to shoot out of the pile right over in front of his pocket, but you got to make a good shot to make the nine. This is not a, an easy little cut. Mission oh, accomplished. Nice Did he get wedged on the he seven? Got hooked he got barely. wedged. Yeah, okay. We, and Josh is uh, breathing a sigh of relief that yeah. he cannot see that too. Which 
tell you what, now Tony's in a spot where he has to be real careful because the two banks for Josh. It's okay to take oh, a foul he, here. He, he might, Mark, he might be kicking two rails at the four to play the three, just like that. He was trying to make the three, and knowing the four yeah. would leave town. Boy, yeah. you talk about offensive. Wow. Now the question is, does Josh feel like it's go time on this bank? I, I, I think it is. And, and what I'm saying is he's playing position with it. You can't just play a yes. one-ball bank here. Yes, that's right. you got to try to get something more. Mission accomplished. Oh, he hit it great. Nice shot. Yep. Now, do you like – now, I'll tell you what I like here. I think I'm shooting the three and going right between the seven one. He's spinning with inside and going to the 12. No. Oh, wow, he really tricked me. He he does that where he cues center, 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 spin, and that works. A lot of players do that. I, well, I saw him queuing up left and then hit yep. center a little bit ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's like, well, that's unusual. Yeah, that's kind of different, yeah. Good decision, though. Solid strokes. Yeah, sure. Uh, ah. He didn't like it. I guess he was playing position for the two-railer on the four next, and he wanted it away from the rail. Costy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Tony just needs to get, uh, I mean, obviously he's going to check the stack out and make sure nothing's wired. Uh oh he's got a combination to get started. And the 11, the 11 is coming off the 15 possible. No, no, I, I don't know. think he can play it. Okay. No, Josh is safe there. What do you like here, Mark? Just just bank this up by like the four, right? Yeah. Get it out of there. Yeah, or he does it, He doesn't like doing that, but no, he he never he makes a two passive. Rail, he's response. two railing it and drawing the cue ball against the pile. Look at here, nice shot. What a God, hit! He hit it. So what good. a hit! Oh, oh no. yeah, that's just super, super knowledge, super, super execution, yes, super good control. That was a good shot because yeah, you got to go so close yeah. to that four ball right. down there. Yeah, yeah, he's got to control the object ball and the cue ball. Well, these guys aren't world champions for nothing. They are going to shoot some great shots, and so far this match, they've both hit a bunch of um, really tough shots. That last one got away from Josh, though, and, it, and it's funny how you miss one ball, and all of a sudden now you're hooked, and think, oh, look at here. I mean, he just shook off that last mistake and comes firing right back at Tony. Make sure nothing's wired out of the pile. How do you like to play this, Mark? Do you, do you just, like, three-rail this to your hole and try to go? Oh, I see. How, okay, I like that. Yeah, that was nice and safe. Got a ball on his side. Scores 3-2, Josh. He's right back in it. Tony's got the four ball. Yeah. And it's pretty free. Well, Tony don't bank good. He'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the best banker alive. Oh, oh jumped up, bit. jumped up. Yeah, he's going to pay yeah, for that. Yeah. He's going to pay for that little stroke delivery yeah. glitch. And if Josh can uh, put this 12 down with high right English, which adds difficulty, of course, and land on the 15 with the right angle, he could steal this game. Oh, he might have just overcut it a smidge. And again, when you use that inside spin, it ramps up the difficulty a lot. Oh, that's a bummer for Josh if he could have put that down. Yeah, you, you can't fault him for the inside no, spin. No, he just has to bury that ball. you got to so make no that what. ball. And sometimes he's going to, and he's going to win the whole tournament. And if you don't, you know. Uh, you're highly vulnerable. Yeah, you're vulnerable. That's right. Now, do you like banking this 12 into the balls? It would be better it, if they were closer together because you'd have to hit it pretty hard to get much I, movement. I mean, knowing Tony's style, I think he will. I'll tell you what. Is there anything wrong Ooh. with that? Do you like that? Let's what go with shot. that. What a shot. What a shot. Yeah, he just uh, just kind of knowing his style. I've seen him play so much. He he kind of likes moving stuff to his hole, and, and it's going to work a lot. Now, do you, well, now, see, I, I'm scared hitting it like this. If you overcut this at high speed, it two rails right into the ball, just like this. Now, watch this. Boy, he jumped up again. But too. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, that shot so much heat to not overcut it. 
if there was a knock on Tony's game, it's definitely in his shot making, no. execution, uh, yeah. on, on open balls. <sighs> not not on his moving, not the tactical side. Right, right. But sometimes his technique breaks down, and it has a couple times. Yeah, I mean, and in fairness to him, of course, that was extremely difficult. But what I always say is if the shot's really tough, don't make it any tougher by moving or twitching or jumping up. Try to hold still. Um, I'll tell you what, Josh has got the balls laying, favoring him. Tony's hooked on the five, I believe. Okay, everybody, let's get another look at that uh, bank into the stack to make a combination shot here. There it is. Tracking wow. to the pocket. Good cue ball control. Yeah, great shot. And he was playing the cue ball more than anything, but um, good things happen when you hit it right. He avoided the side pocket point. Just great cue ball control. Now, Tony looks like he has a dead seven almost. No, maybe not. Well, close enough to pay attention to it. Yeah, Josh smartly moved it with the cue ball on the end rail. Hopkins told me years ago, one pocket is a race to the end rail. You get balls by your hole and freeze them up there on that back rail, and you'll do fine. Because I really just asked him, like, mm -hmm. what's your thoughts playing? Well, I was just starting. You know, I said, well, well, give me like a swing tip here. And that's what he told me. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. I've had every top pro in the world over the years show me a shot or two or a move or two, and um, I appreciate that. And, uh, I mean, I'm talking Tuscaloosa Squirrel, Wade Crane, just on and on. You've showed me some stuff I never thought of. And over the years, you put it all together, and um, if you keep your eyes and ears open around these great players, you can learn a lot. Sometimes they all gather around the table and start going, hey, have you seen this shot? And man, yeah. you'd be surprised. Like going to graduate school. Yes, yes. The oddball shots that they'll show you. Like that. Like right there. I mean, when I first started playing one point, I'm never going to think of doing that. Playing a right. billiard bank and all that, you know. 90 things going on at one time. Oh, man. Tony's in a terrible spot here. Well, he can two rail that I, at 15. I, that's right. right? And I'll and tell you what. He's got him doubled up on the eight. That's very observant of you to see that because I like that shot and stick the cue ball right there, put the 15 near your hole. What you almost don't want to do is make the 15. Right. You want to just get it right down by your pocket. And then Josh has to deal with it, and then you can get out of this disaster. But Tony Banks is dang good. He might make this thing. He's going to have to stiffen it up with a little bit of right English here. See, with me, there'd be no threat of it going in, so look, I'd be safe. Look how that, good he did yeah, with the cue ball. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that was smart. Boy, so many things Josh can do here. He can play the three railer to his hole, but I don't like that frozen off that back rail because if you miss hit this ball at all, your cue ball gets away from you. It, see, he hit that incredible because that was way harder than he made it look. Oh, he kind of got unlucky there. Well, he got lucky. Yeah. Lucky and unlucky. Both. <laughs> he recognized that Tony was going to have a five ball, a seven mm -hmm. ball, and the eight. Mm -hmm. He had some things going on yeah, there. Yeah, Josh is not afraid to play aggressive, and uh, he's not uh, scared out there. If he loses, he's going to go down swinging. Because I don't know that I'd have had the nerve to shoot that three railer froze off that back rail. That Tony's a, a spot here. He can play the combination on the 11, but also it doesn't come without a penalty. You can't right. play yourself it, away from not having a bank right. for Josh. Yeah, you're leaving a bank you, if you don't make you this. You really need to make it. Oh, look at him hold the cue ball perfect on the front. Oh, I, just I, think, I think Josh might have been able to cut the eight in from there. Yeah. Yeah, Tony's playing great. Nice shot there. Those are hard to gauge when you're a right. quarter inch from it, spinning it, looking away from the ball. Now, do you try to dribble? No, he's going to try to maybe. Oh, he's killing it with low inside to get on the eight. Nice stroke. Look at that touch. He overkilled it. 
Now he can play the 8 and run the cue ball into the 12. And the cue ball might even follow off the 12 and, and move the 14 where the one's shootable. Tony realizes he wants to for sure get the eight ball down no matter what because then he's on the hill. Like, yeah, you know, he yeah, and he can't. Just one ball. Yeah, I don't think he can come off the 12 and get in. He's just going to try to make this ball pocket just, weight. Right. Yeah, just, just don't like miss that. this ball trying to get position. Right. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Okay. Look at your opponent go, it's your shot. Would you ever consider two rail on the 10 with shape on the 15, which carries you to the 14 one? If that 12 was mm -hmm. in play. Well, you don't that, have much choice. You ain't got a ton. I mean, Tony needs one. So, I mean, what else are you going to do? Man, you'd have to run all those balls and bank the 12. Oh, no, wait. Tony needs two. No, no. Yeah, th then you just make the eight. You just have to make the eight. Josh is looking well, to play in the 14 and making the eight, I think, oh, with the wow. cue ball. I don't think it lays right, but well, you're going to scratch good, so often. Yeah, you know. and he's hoping to come off the eight and get shape on the one and run three or four balls. But, man, like you say, this is just – this looks good on paper, but it don't happen too often. Man, bingo. What a shot. He made the comment. He made the billiard and the – look at the shape on the line. Hmm. Well, that was a cool shot. That was. That was a great shot. Hope we got that on replay. That oh, was man. pretty interesting little setup. Yeah. Played the carom shot with velocity. <laughs> know, that got was, the one. That was cool as could be right there. Oh, don't hit look the Look at 12. this. No, he wanted to develop the oh, 12. That's, oh, I think he was oh, tried that. Yeah. Oh, Well, now he can, can see the ball. Yeah, that was go. good. If we could get another look at the Predator replay here of that uh, shot that Josh made this look carom on the 14 I mean, with velocity. Played the carom, carried the one. I mean, that's now, just courage under fire. Like, I'm never even going to have the guts to shoot yeah, that. If it doesn't go in, you're going to likely lose right. from there. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying so. to figure out, can I just give him the eight and have a slow death? Right. You know? Right. Tony's going for this bank, needing one. Wow, look at how good he hit it. Controlled the cue ball nicely, too. Hmm. Well, I think Josh has to remove this 10. He, can he bank the 12 and come down behind the 10? I don't, I, yeah, I think you just have to move the 10 here. I think I was getting a little optimistic there. <laughs> Good job with the cue ball on the now, rail. Now, I don't know about you here. I'm just crossing the 15 over by the 12 and coming up and down the table. I don't I don't want to shoot this two-railer. There's mm -hmm. a kiss. There's a scratch. There's mm -hmm. just, like, just play a little safe. You only, there you go. Wow, Tony Chohan does play safe once in a while. Well, the, I mean, that's protecting <laughs> yeah, the lead yeah, and absolutely. giving yourself. It's really hard that's to right. stop him now. That's no matter right. how you play these, Josh is almost forced into playing offense from here. No, yeah. really. he can just oh, I mean, he can just shoot the ten towards the fifteen and get the cue ball down there. Yeah. That's the other shot. Yeah, there's not much else. He's coming off the. Oh, is he? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. What else can you do there? Now Tony will just come off the left side of the twelve, knock it over, kind of near the ten, and the cue ball. With high left English down by Josh's. Well, I, I say it like I know that's what he's, I think that's what he's going to do. With Tony, you never know. But that's what I think is the right shot. Just come off the left side of the 12. A little high left English. Two rails down. There we go. Don't scratch. Oof. Boy, he got closer to scratching than he wanted. Boy, this is tough to deal oh, with here. Yeah, it's brutal. He got distance on him. Now uh, there's all those balls that bank, all of them bank. So you got to be pretty good. Yeah. Nice shot. That was that good could, job. That could have went wrong. He didn't use much power, so it wasn't going to go way, way I, wrong. I kind of like the same thing here. Ten into the rail, into the 12 with high left. Just come two rails down right where you had the cue ball. Nothing fancy. It looks like he's doing something else. Oh, that's kind of the same thing. Nice shot. Yeah, I think that was safer. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a risk of, you mm -hmm. know, maybe pocketing a ball. Right. Inadvertently and spotting it. 
You must keep that that uh, group of balls right by that corner pocket down there as long as he can. This is where I need a coach for sure. I mean, I, I play too passive, I think, sometimes in this spot. And, uh, oh, tell you what. Yeah. Tony's, you know, you know Tony's looking he, at trick shots. Well, here. look at that. I mean, if Maybe can, play the 12 off the 10. Looks like there yeah, yeah. could be a kiss on it. That oh, okay. was the thing. And you know he wants to. And then the 15 might two rail the, around, too. The t yeah. The he's 15, not doing yeah. either thing. Yeah, he's two railing the 15. Oh, he did that. Bang, two right towards the hole. Huh. You think this guy can bank it all? He's getting the hang of this I game know. for sure. It's amazing. It looked like it was in all the way. I was so sure. You know, and people people to disparage sometimes these great players. They're like, well, they play good one pocket. They play all the time. They play one pocket. Trust me, I know a lot of guys that play one pocket all the time. Need like 10-6 from these dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, these guys play great, man. Yeah. These guys play great. You're looking at like, you know, oh. a Tiger Woods or a LeBron James or a... Um, Rory McElroy of the sport here. These are the true titans of pool. And, you know, all the European players and the Russian players and all the greatest players, they know how good this T Rex plays and guys like Josh. And, uh, you know, it's they know that this one pocket is a legit tough game to understand and play right. Oh, man, he pulled a John Schmidt. That's the kind of stuff I do. It's so sickening. You know what I mean? You hate to scratch needing one. Mm. And he used pretty good right. speed control right. on that. He did get the 15 to go across the table. He, there was a lot of good things, just that mm -hmm. last little foot of speed. Yeah, you know, the... <laughs> I mean, like if I was Tony's like coach or road partner, I say, Tony, you know every move, every bank. Play nine ball straight pull for about two weeks, and then play one pocket. <laughs> Even though it might not change anything, it um, the only thing that I could see that he doesn't maybe do as good as like a Joshua Filler or a Alex Pegline maybe, and he might be the first to admit, is run the balls. He's fantastic at it. But I think that'd be the only part of his mm -hmm. game that, that maybe could improve a half a percent, you know. Because all the rest of it, it's like unbelievable how good he is. But I think when you play that much one pocket, it actually damages your ball pocketing just well, a smidge, no right? Question. I mean, No question. Yeah, that's not a good – I mean, I'm not, and I'm not, not good just, for stroke building. Yeah, no, I'm not taking a stab out of him at all. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, look at that hit. Nice. Good shot. Nice. Yeah, he knows all the moves. I mean, he can play tight and safe if he wants. And I think in a tournament like this, you know, you can't just flip the coin and play again. He's playing smart. Mm-hmm. Good shot. That's he got that ball in play. Now this one, you just cross it and put the cue ball on the end rail, right? You don't. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, high left English and just turn it back to his side pocket, just like that, just like that. Now, this bank might be pushing the limits, but you can sometimes one rail this back to your hole with a high cue ball, and the cue ball zigzags up mm -hmm. table, and you'll end up with a bank on the 12. Now, you have to miss the car wreck down there, that double kiss, but... Needing two to Tony's one, you have to do something spectacular. But a great player like Josh can read if there's a kiss, and he saw that there was a kiss and turned it down smartly. Oh, yeah, he controlled the balls nice. He didn't leave Tony anything here. Hmm. You like just coming off the, like the right side of the 10 and putting the cue ball back down here. I don't see much well, else. If you right? do that, in the you got to make sure you don't make the twelve or something, right? Right. right. Um, John saying, "Play into the 
and have the cue ball come down here, but you got to be careful yeah, over here if not, you do that, yeah. you know, and it's not really set right to go rail first on it either. Where you yeah. just, that, and then the cue ball retains more speed because you're going to sell out of the bank. Got to keep him off of a one rail bank. Well, you know, when I first started playing, I might just roll up and like, hit the 10, but I realized these great players, they like distance here. Like, you see all the effort he went through to get the cue ball far away from those balls? And at first, I didn't see the value in it, but it's very hard for your opponent to do much when you leave right. eight feet away. Now, Josh has got a chance to steal this game. If he banks this mm -hmm. 10 in and knocks the 12 in, I mean, it's low percentage for all this to go right, but it's all he's got. Try to bank the 10 in and make the 12. Oh, my God, what a shot. What a shot mm. right then in the semifinals. Now the object ball needing spots. Needing to. Yeah. Now this shot <laughs> is brutal because you don't want to overcut it. If you slow roll it, you can leave a bank. And if you hit it firm and you overcut it, you sell out. So this looks like a free shot. It's not. And Josh is going to pace this one in there. I he's think not, so. He's, he's man, not you better not it. overcut it. Yeah, I'm guilty of rolling the soft, and then I undercut it and leave a big old bank. But see, that's how I'd shoot it right there. That's yeah. He he smartly overcut it. You know, he was aiming to the high side of the pocket there. But uh, he's got to be thrilled to yeah. be in a position to win this game. Oh my God! If Tony kicks at this ball, I know nothing about one pocket. I would never shoot this kick, but he does all the time. I don't think he's kicking it, though. He's Okay, he's getting it out of there. Okay. He's going real first, though, to put it on his side. Oh, my God. What in the? Okay, well, that's the greatest bank I've ever seen. Wow. Ever. Wow. Did what you see shot. what he did? He played it off the point. He kind of played the ball. I mean, that could have hung in Josh's pocket if he mishits that at all. <laughs> T-Rex. Yeah, that was. Oh, Josh is even smiling. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, it's just the greatest. It's not even the shot. Well, I've that he always, made. I've always thought that Tony looks like a genie out of a bottle. I mean, <laughs> and he just shot a shot there that's uh, unreal. Man, let's get the predator replay of that bank. Yeah, think uh, think about this, viewers at home. If you if you undercut this shot that Tony shoots, it just hangs. It just hangs in Josh's pocket. What oh, a he, shot. He didn't hit the point. No, he did overcut he it, but did. it put just enough twist. That's that, right. And the reason that worked, it was so close to the rail, so it held that little side God, spin from cutting it. Just such a good shot. Oh, you got to be a super experienced I mean, one-pocket player to recognize that that's going to work like that. Man. <laughs> Josh is still smiling. Yeah, I mean, Josh is playing fantastic. He's done hardly anything wrong. But when you're up against the likes of Tony Shohan, uh, you have to play perfect just to have a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. most guys, you play perfect. You're robbing them. No, not with T-Rex. You might win. Y yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of guys I know that when I draw them, if I play what I call good, I'm winning. But with these kind of guys, you say to yourself, if I play what I call good, I might win. Right. And that, you know, that's that's yeah. a whole different animal. Boy, that was a shot. By yeah, Tony. it was incredible. <laughs> and what Josh, that bank he made and knocked the 12 in was great. But How smart that was. Yep. Yeah. Super good stuff. Tony checked that up with a little bit of inside spin, got the nice angle, tucked it underneath mm -hmm. the 10. He did a lot of good things there. Tell you what, yeah, Tony or Josh can't do much here. He's got to just. Uh, Oh, I can't quite tell he's what he's doing. He's playing the seven. Yeah. Okay, nice shot. Yeah, that's all he had. Now, Tony, eh, you got to watch him banking this eight into the balls and getting you behind the ten. This can lead well, to problems. The, doesn't he want to bank the seven into the stack uh, or no? Can he? Can he hit that seven? Yeah, I like that better if you could bank the seven, sure. Well, I'm going to default to whatever well, Tony chooses. Yeah, right. right, let's shot. go with that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. funny his cue always looks too small for him <laughs> he's always holding the very end of it, it looks yeah. like he's playing with a little chopstick out there bank in the eight of the stack oh, oh nice the shot seven. carried them all over man yeah, tony's playing fantastic uh don't leave a bank 
Oh, did. yeah, you don't want to leave Tony. Bang. I think oh, no. he's okay, no, Mark. He's okay, yeah, yeah, he just got yeah. away with it. I'll tell you what I've seen Tony do here, though, is he'll bank this 10 at the 3-6 and let the cue ball draw right up to the side pocket if it's available. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I've seen him bank this right at the balls before. He can clatter he, into the pocket inside, too. Oh. Look at that. That was interesting. That was way interesting. He played it in yes. rail, side rail, off the stack. He was trying to hit the stack. Cue ball to the end rail. Well, I think that time he did use the point. Uh -huh. I think he was trying to play it off the end rail into the point across to his side there as opposed to off the stack because the speed wasn't R that he didn't right. choose. It wouldn't have gone. You know, he didn't right. have enough velocity. Man, that was a good one. That was a heady play. Yep. That's the one to get a replay on mm -hmm. there. That was really good. Yeah, I mean, he, he just makes things happen from spots where it doesn't look like anything can happen. He's, uh, he's, he's really taken uh, he, Josh's offense away yeah. throughout this match. Josh has hardly oh, had a yeah. chance to play offense. Oh, that's what Tony's famous for. I mean, he just, he just applies pressure. He executes great. And uh, you just walk away from the match going, I never got to do much. Yeah, I thought I was playing great. Right. <laughs> yeah. Tony trickles a bank home. I think he tried to put the cue ball up by the side pocket here. Or the, the, even better, don't scratch. Oh, nice touch. Look at the speed. It's going to hang just right. Well, Josh wished that three ball was dead. Um, I don't think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I always, you know, the straight pool player in me, I always look around and try to find something that's dead. And I usually do, and it ends up being me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like, I found it. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, Just great. perfect touch. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Just took away everything. Yep. <laughs> and it'd be very, if Josh wasn't so experienced, it'd be very easy for a youngster in this position to just go on tilt. I'm down to nothing. I'm not getting shots and just blast away at some dumb shot mm -hmm. and sell mm -hmm. out. But Josh is too savvy for that. He's going to hang in there, chip away, and hope things uh, turn around a little bit. Tony knows he needs to open up the 15 and 14 uh -huh. at some point here, uh -huh. you know, however he goes about it. But those are uh, going to be really uh, prevent him from getting big uh, offense well, going. Well, I'll tell you what, Tony's looking at the green bean right here. He might kick at this 112-6, which, I, I mean, a lot can go wrong. Yeah, I don't think uh, he's, he's not shooting it. Now he decided the six wasn't wired. He's going to try to twist wow. this three into the 14. Yeah, there's a lane. There is a lane. Well, how'd he hit it? Wow. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? You imagine another, playing this guy, a set of loser dies. You know what I mean? <laughs> another bank that he manufactured the angle. That well, was, he shot it wide with spin to get there. Yeah, and not only that, he's like jacked up, right foot up on his tippy toes with side spin and everything. Just so super good. Does he have the six? Hard to tell. You know, Looks like he does. Yeah, yeah, I think he he, he seems content. He's not up yeah. there examining, so he must have the six. But now it's not, it's real tricky to get position right there. to get on the eight. You'd have to see how much right hand spin he's using, which yeah. adds a lot of difficulty to the shot. Got to feather it. Nice shot. Oh, he, oh, he almost got there. Oh man, he hit yeah, it good. He what. hit it good, but yeah. he, he grazed that first ball and that took away the angle. Well, as good as he banks, you almost don't want him to have a bank. Well, it's not much of a bank. No, I <laughs> I, I think he can hit it with left and go up towards the one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And wow. behind his back, yeah, just so the chopstick behind his back, left English, so he beats the kiss. Oh, yeah, he's thinking mm -hmm. better of this. He's mm -hmm. thinking, no, oh, there is all ball fouls. That's I forgot right. that part. That's right. Do I really want to do that? He just come off the left side of the ten or the right side of the ten, go upstream. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Opens up them balls. Now the ten's wired, fifteen's wired off each other. Man, Josh is up against it here. A lot of times, you know, if you win it, if you win a tournament, 
you know, nobody can appreciate like this position. Like if Josh wins the whole tournament, eight years from now he's telling the story like you should have seen the spot I'm in. Semifinals, mm -hmm. down two nothing. All the balls favor Tony. I'm dead in the water, and I hoisted the trophy at 10 o'clock that night. It was right. You should have been there. You'd had to have seen it. Yeah. Tony's got him 2-0 and 4-0, and all the balls on his side. Oh, that wasn't great. No. He didn't mean to double kiss no, that. No, he did not. But you almost feel like Tony can just kind of slap him around. I mean, what could, you know, Josh has nothing. Well, he's got what, the straight back on the four. I'm going to tell you. And I'm I feel a, like he's going to shoot it, too. He, yeah. Just to get some offense going. Yeah. Well, he, you know what I think he's looking at, Mark? Is he looking at the. The well, well I can't tell. I thought he was going to yeah. play the 8-5 combination bank and try to sneak over behind the 10, but, well, we'll find out. He's looking down the barrel. Oh, he might be able to play the 10 and hold the cue ball, but the 10 has, doesn't have a lane to go to the hole. So I don't understand. Oh, he has to high speed the 10. Oh, man, that would have been something. Oh. Well, it's the first uh, little break he's got. Yeah. Looks like it was going to be an ugly kiss, but as it turned out, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And, you know, when a guy has to shoot a shot like that, it's a testament to how great Tony's played. Because you're saying to yourself, man, I have right. to do something. The, I hate the straight back four didn't lead to much. Right. That, that, that's the problem with it, but I felt like Josh was going to make that four. That's right. He chose a little more difficulty. Now check this out. He's going to bank this with low right English and draw the cue ball into the one. Uh oh, uh, got Big away. Trouble. This is maybe. Big oh, trouble. and he hooked Josh. Ooh, he's going to apologize there. He just said, like, sorry, Josh. And a little a little uh, shy smile. Josh knows he got a little fortunate there. Mm. This table's difficult, though. Josh would have had to make a heck of a shot on the five to get on the other balls. But, you know, it would have been nice to see. Now, here's a shot. He'd like to shoot. You play the, the bank on the 15 and the billiard on the 8, but it's not laying right. The 8 would have to be to our right about an inch. Yeah, when you're down 4, I mean, what do you think, Mark? I mean, what do you do here? You definitely want to keep the balls in play. You can't come down to the back rail mm -hmm. where Tony could just bat them upstream, right? All right. Oh, is he playing that shot? I don't think he is. He's playing... Oh, wow. Wow. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, see, yeah. Tony's just playing so good that it's just – forcing Yeah, him. he's forcing Josh to do stuff he doesn't want to do. Right, right. So I know sold that out of the bank here. Yeah. But it's not free because you can't hit much of the five ball with the cue ball here. So you kind of got to go mm -hmm. naked and mm -hmm. just go that's all right. out to make it. Oh, he oh, does. Okay, that. good. I think that, that was heady. That's right. Yep. Tony's saying to himself, I should win the game if I just take my time. Just don't fight. Yeah. He looked up at me and smiled like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <you, you> <laughs> I tricked you. Yep. Okay. Josh is smartly keeping all the balls in play. From this position, Josh needs to keep putting the cue ball down by the end you break from, and Tony wants to put the cue ball down by the rack end. Knock him out of play. Uh oh. Well, you know, he banks good. so good, he can get away with that. But when I hit a shot like that, I leave a bank, and then they run seven, and then my backer fires me. You just, you know, but when you bank like him, you're not turning him down. Just going to stiffen oh, this bank up. What a, oh, uh, he man. wasn't able to. He had oh, to stiffen man, it too much. Sold out. Mm, that's disappointing for Josh. Well, he had a chance. Yeah, I mean, he had that's a, it's that's hard. Right. To, I can't fault him at yep. all because that's a shot he can make. Yeah, you know, you have visions before a match of, like, your opponent playing bad and you getting left straight in all the time. It's not going to go like that. You're going to have to make great banks and tough cuts to beat these kind of players. They're not going to hand it to you. Tony got himself tangled up uh, here. Uh -huh. No one, Tony, he might bank the five. All right, Tony's going to try to bank Donald Trump cross side here. <laughs> I don't know. Is he? I think so. Okay. Oh, look at the cue ball control. 
Oh, nice shot. You know what? I know my dad's watching this match, and I'm glad because I always tell him, I'm like, you cannot believe how good this Johan banks, and I think you're really seeing it this match. Yeah. He's just made every bank from everywhere. High speed, slow speed, inside, outside English, elevated, you know, whatever whatever it takes. They just all go right in. Well, this is match ball. Yeah, here. match ball. <laughs> he's got his <laughs> chopstick. Yeah, he's got his little golf tee in his hand. What a perfect set he played. Oh, there. boy. Yeah. Josh, a perfect gentleman as usual, just shakes his hand, doesn't say a word. <laughs> Tony, he spends no energy. Yeah. Unlike Josh Filler, yeah. Josh Filler would be sitting down rubbing down its cue uh -huh, already. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tony's halfway to his chair. Tony's in the finals. Well, it's always an honor and privilege for me to share time with John and the rest of you listeners. Thank you sincerely. It's our time for, uh, for this time. Until next time, so long.